What's going on guys, it's Jake, and I'm currently up in my room because my sister, who's in second grade, has her friend over. And I don't know why I just told you that, I just felt like saying something and that's what came out. But anyways, uh, big new, not recent news, but it, I waited till most people have seen it or have read the book, so there's no big spoilers or anything, but Catching Fire, the sequel. To the Hunger Games. It's supposed to come out November 22nd, 2013. Is what I've heard and what Lionsgate is saying they're aiming for. But they don't know for sure if that's going to be when the premiere is. Uh, what's what's the plan? That's the plan, anyways. But uh, they're waiting to see some things that happen from the Hunger Games. And seeing like when they're going to start making Catching Fire, because they don't even have Finnick or any of the new characters that you meet that help Katniss and Peeta. Uh, what, I, I know that Finnick Odair from District 4 is maybe played by Zac Efron. Many people think he fits the great description of Finnick Odair. People th say, use Zac Efron. He fits Finnick perfectly. There's no doubt that if you have to get an actor for Finnick, choose Zac Efron. And, you know, I may agree with that because, I mean, if you actually think about it, and if you think about the, the description for Finnick, and then you look at Zac Efron, then... You you could see how people would want him for it because they think he fits it perfectly, and I kind of agree with that. But anyways, my point, uh, my review of the Hunger Games, uh, <coughs> I think Lionsgate did a perfect job with that book. It had not a perfect job, but they did a really good job. Like I, the biggest problem for me was. Well, there's two. One was that <coughs> uh, Mags wouldn't. This is part of the first one, but one Ma Madge wasn't in it. Uh, so, and Katniss gets the Mockingjay pin from uh, from a market and gives it to Prim. And then Prim gives it back to her. That's my biggest problem. The second problem, it, it's, it just kind of eats at me. Like they didn't finish Rue's lullaby when she got speared by Marvel, and that that just hated that. <coughs> but anyway, other than that, they did a pretty good job, and. Uh, they had to cut a lot of the stuff out because it was when she was alone and she was, it, w it wasn't, no one was talking, it was just like, just writing. There was no character speaking involved. Uh, so that's why a lot of it was cut out. But other than that, I mean, they did a great job for The Hunger Games and I want to see how they do, how good they are with Catching Fire. Uh, Catching Fire is Jennifer Lawrence's least favorite book out of the Hunger Games series. Um, I mean, if I, if I really had to pick a least favorite out of the series, I mean, I choose, I choose Mockingjay. I, mean, I don't know if I can't really say anything about it because I don't think that everyone who may be seeing this video has read the book. But, uh, I mean, if you have, you know, you probably know why I'd have to pick that. Uh, I just, I, the first two were the best. Uh, I think the first one, is, I can't choose which is the best. But, I mean, I'm kind of leaning more to Catching Fire. But, I'm also to the Hunger Games, to the first one, 
Hunger Games. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I just can't decide because they are both really good, and I just think that Lionsgate's gonna do a great job. So. Leave your comments down below, and I will come out with more videos. They may not be these, vi like, reviews on movies and stuff, but they may be, uh, I, maybe basslines, uh, maybe some drums. I mean, I don't have a set yet, but I'm gonna, like, show you stuff on the pad or something. Okay, peace off.